Hey guys, this is Daniel with Pwn CNC, and I'm here to talk about um, a new product um, that I've been playing around with. So I'm releasing it um, here. Well, by the time you're watching this video, it'll be released already. But essentially, it is the ultimate hose clamp. I swear this thing is cost uh, is is awesome. So um, it starts out with a steel coupler. This guy um, started out. I 3D printed it just to just to validate the, the design and that sort of thing because I am outsourcing these. These are uh, steel uh, bead blasted, so they look really nice. Um, just like my, uh, here's a 3D printed version. Essentially, um, just like my previous hose clamps, it wraps around two of the stepper motor screws. Now this steel coupler provides a very strong um, uh, joint there for the, uh, um, for the stepper motor, which is, the main problem with my previous clamping system, um, a, a hit or, or a jab or a move in the wrong direction will break off the plastic tabs. Well, now they're steel. And that steel is wrapped around a basically a coupler base. So you slide that right in there and the, it's, the pins themselves stick out with a big chunk of meat of uh, plastic right there grabbing onto it so that I can then pull the entire um, hose clamp way out here towards the end. clamp, we have the two and a half inch angled uh, bracket here, uh, clamp here. We have the uh, one and a half inch um, angled. We have the one and a half inch straight bracket. And of course I have a two, uh, two and a half inch straight bracket out over, over there in the pile. Um, all of this attaches here. Um, it attaches to two of the stepper motor screws. Now the nice thing is, this could, theoretically, be attached in any number of ways or locations, um, so long as there's a NEMA 23 stepper motor there. So that's where these, these couplers, the steel coupler is designed specifically for this. You can have it come off the side if you need to. Um, there may be other attachments or something like that which um, I may design, or if you have any suggestions, please let me know. It doesn't have to be a hose. It could just simply be some, uh, just some hold the wires or whatnot. Um, just let me know what you think um, should be attached there. These can also be stepped over. Um, let's see, it's really hard to see. Let me see if I got it here. There we go. You can mount it sideways like this. Um, the possibilities are pretty much endless. Wherever you got a NEMA uh, 23 stepper motor, we can go ahead and add this in there to provide you with whatever mounting or generic mounting system you need. So let's jump over to one of our other machines so you can see how this would go on. Um, this is my HDZ. I have the larger uh, cable chains and I'm trying to clear an, a cable track that I'm trying to add here. Now what I've done here is I've used the extra large which comes out. Um, the extra large I believe is measured at four inches so the attachment um, will come out right up here at the four inch mark. And that's about where I need to clear this cable chain and this debris, this uh, stuff here. Now, you may notice that down here on my, let me adjust the camera here. Down here on the uh, boot, I've got the, what is this, the large, I guess this would be extra large. Um, well, it's the one inch attachment. I think it's the large. I recall correctly, but the large 90 degree adapter, that way I can pull, come straight out my hose, go straight up since I'm clearing this track now. I can use the uh, one, uh, two and a half inch vertical um, hose attachment here on, on, the, on the ultimate hose clamp and go straight up with the hose and then over to where I need to. So. This gives me tons and tons of options. Let's switch over to another machine and let's take a look at what sizes are perfect for it. Okay, so here I have the uh, Millwright Mega V. Um, I'm gonna have it designed where I've got the hose coming out. I'm gonna add the brackets to it, which I still have to design. Um, yeah, <laughs> but um, here's the ultimate hose clamp. I've got the standard version, the standard size which basically comes out two inches. And then of course my hose clamp clamps right onto that. And that's plenty to uh, clear the track 
uh, the cable chain of the of the stock configuration here. So I wouldn't go much longer than that. Um, there's no reason to go with the large or the large or the extra large here because um, all you need to do is just clear that one cable chain right there and you're you're golden. All right, here we are in tight quarters. Here's my uh, CNC for newbies. This is the new carve. Um, of course, I don't have my extra extra large, which is what I suggest for this. Um, if you're going to mount it right here on the stepper motor, way up here at the top, um, you're going to want the extra extra large so you can clear that space. Now again, let me grab my tape measure here. Remember, what you're going to do is measure it straight from the back of the stepper motor and measure to determine how many, whether you need the two, three, four, or five. So that's the standard, large, extra large, and extra, extra large um, in order to clear whatever material is back here on the back of your machine. Now, of course, the CNC for newbies has got this large horizontal plate that heads out and it sticks out uh, just shy of five inches. So you're gonna want the five inch clamp which is the extra, extra large arm. Once you've got this mounted on there, it'll stick out a little further and the hose clamp will basically stick right here at the end. Now, if you went with an angled um, bracket here, remember your hose is gonna slide, come down this way and then make a slight curve down to go into the boot, which means you could technically get away with the extra large no, this is the, yeah, the extra large arm, which is what I have here on display here, with the angled bracket, so you can get that angle and your hose will angle around the, about an inch. So in this case, four inches out, or I guess this would be, yeah, four inches out, um, the angled hose clamp will give you that little extra inch. So just in case you need you to save about five bucks or something like that between the price differences and such. But that's, um, Extra large or the extra extra large will be perfect for the CNC for newbies, uh, the new carve. Um, okay, here we are with the uh, Shapoko. This is the standard size, the 19 um, by 19, I believe. This is the um, one that does have the controller panel, the controller uh, instrument state or the circuitry right there mounted on the back of the X gantry. Um, if you've got this configuration, you're going to want the extra large um, hose clamp. It is enough to clear the circuitry. Now, of course, I have got um, a Raspberry Pi mounted here on the back. So I'm probably going to go with the extra, extra large on, my, on this particular machine. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, again, if you just go in that extra inch or something like that, you can use the angled and that'll help get you around whatever obstructions are right there on the back. But again, I'll probably go with the extra large. Looks like I still haven't mounted my systems. Now, of course, again, if you wanted to, you can, and you have the uh, version four, and you wanted to mount the hose right there in the front, you can use the same clamping system. Um, again, measure from the stepper motor out past your debris. And in this case, it is roughly about three and a half inches to clear the router mount. So I would go, um, let's see, the standard is the two inch, then you get the large, which is a th three inch, and of course the extra large, which is a four inch. So even on the, even if you go in the front, you might suggest, uh, I might suggest getting the extra large um, arm so that you can clear and that way the hose can come straight down if you wanted. Or you can go with the, uh, what, the large have that angled um, design of your hose and then come down into the boot. All right, here I am with my very messy X-carve. Um, <laughs> I got a whole work B, C, and C sitting there in the front of the, on, on the front of the bed. I just don't have enough room in my shop. But here's the uh, X-carve in the back. Uh, this is pretty much the stock. I've got some of my accessories on there. Uh, still quite a bit of dust, um, but that's from non-use, not from, <laughs> not from, uh, um, yeah. But, so on the X-Carve, this is a special situation. So the base, 
um, you're going to want to choose the X-carve base because in this case, the stepper motor is actually upside down if you're using the stock um, Z situation here. We're going to mount to these two screws right here and they mount right onto the stepper motor, right up to it. Um, there'll be a little cutout indentation right here which accommodates the, the plate, the Z plate there. So we're going to mount this right here and if you've got this sort of thing here, I'll, I'll hold it this way so you can see what it looks like. This is the, um, the large arm um, and that is plenty enough to clear the, few, the uh, three inches that are necessary to clear this X stepper motor and the standard cable chain bracketing. Um, put, that, put that right on there and you've got plenty of room to uh, clear out and everything. If you go with the standard size, which you could, make sure you go with the angled um, bracket so that the hose is held away from the from this obstruction here. We don't want any of this catching the hose and dragging it. So either go with the uh, standard with the angled or you can go with the um, uh, the large <laughs> with with a uh, straight if you wanted to go straight down and then from there have it angle inward towards the boot. Um, all right, hope you guys enjoyed that. This is Daniel with Pwn CNC. Um, be sure to uh, check out the website for um, the Ultimate Hose Clamp, um, which I'm releasing this week. And also stay tuned for other future enhancements. Um, one item I am working on is an attachment for the Ultimate Hose Clamp, which mounts a fancy tube. Um, this, little, this little guy um, sits right there, sits vertical, gives me a nice mounting point, uh, attachment point for the hose. And as you can see from here, here's my hose, magnetic mounts. Just drop that right into place, snaps into place, holds it there. The idea is you grab it, suck up your dust, get back to work. Um, I've got a couple of uh, versions of that. I'm working on um, making this super nice because I want this particular attachment to uh, mount directly to many of my machines. So I'll have other accessories besides just CNC um, coming out eventually. But yeah, this guy, I'm excited for this, for this one. This is what I'm calling my mag lock system. Um, the magnets are actually opposing, so it's nice because all you got to do is just twist it and it pushes apart. So... I'm excited to see that happen. Um, it will come with a, or it will come. It has an optional um, attachment for the ultimate hose clamp. So I'm trying to create various systems which work very nice together. Um, I'm going to get back to, uh, to printing. <laughs> I have lots and lots of stuff to print for you guys. So um, this is Daniel with Pwn CNC. And I'll, as always, don't just own your CNC dominate it.